Today's uh, Tampa City election is the first in our area since nearly 1.5 million Floridians regained their right to vote. Those felons have completed their terms of the sentence and they live in Tampa and they're exercising their right to vote for the first time in decades. This is because of the passage of Amendment 4. 10 News reporter Madison Allworth went out to the polls to talk to some of these community members about their restored right. I'm a returning citizen and I'm voting for the first time since I've got my card back. I've James Burton lost his right to vote in 1972 with a felony conviction, but today he is excited to be back at the polls. People make mistakes. Sometimes some people make more mistakes than others, but uh, once you made your, uh, paid your debt to society, you should be able to come out and vote again. I mean, because you have to come out and work, pay taxes. But after heading inside, Burton realized he wouldn't be casting a vote today. I can't vote in this election. This is a city, city. the city election. So. Burton lives in Hillsborough County, but not within the city of Tampa. He lives in Temple Terrace, so he'll have to wait to vote for the mayor there. Uh, I'm not defeated because it's going to be a, a uh, the 2020 election is coming up, so I'm, I'm ready for that. Voting is still ongoing, so there's no way to know how many eligible voters participated in this election. But previous elections similar to this one, like the 2011 mayoral election, only saw voter turnout of 22%. That's a percentage that's far too low, according to James Burton, who wishes he could have voted today. Because you have the same choice as everyone else to come out and vote. But if you, if you don't want to vote, that's, that's your right. But I, I, I wanted my right to vote, and it's important to me, so it should be important to everyone. I spoke to another man canvassing at the polling place who wasn't able to vote because he didn't register in time. I haven't I've got all my paperwork done yet, but I'm looking forward to the 2020 election so I can be able to vote in that. Uh, I've been out of prison about 30 years, and you know I think I'm eligible for, for the vote in, in 2020. Even though they both have eyes on the future, Burton wants to engage in the ways he can today. And if I can, I'm going to go right now and try to get more people to come out and vote because I couldn't. I'm and we reached out to the Florida Department of State to ask how they're handling these new registrations after the passage of Amendment 4. They say there's no delay. They say when you register to vote, you affirm your eligibility. If you are a felon and you want to make sure that you've completed the terms of service, reach out to your local clerks of court. You can also contact the Florida Rights Restoration My Vote hotline. We have that number and more information up on our website for you on WTSP.com.